So it's going with a with rhythm. One, two, three. Gaming, you could do gaming, and pretty much this is a. Today we're gonna bring in some ceiling lights, and they have these have the smart feature built in where you could turn off remote control from your actual phone or from any kind of a voice activated device. Now, if you guys can see, it has 15 watts. It comes up to 1,200 lumens. We're gonna take a look at it and see what you get when you get something like this. But just to let you guys know, the vendor was kind of enough to send this out for us for review. So let's take a look at it and see what you get. First of all, if you guys notice the the dome. It's, it's all built in before they used to have two pieces to it. Of course, they give you the actual, uh, this is ground. You got the positive and negative. That means a hot and then you got your neutral. Of course, it's all built in base. Now, a lot of these houses don't have the actual built setup. But if you guys notice, these actually have a different mount. If you guys can see, you could directional mount on the top and just pretty much mount ceiling. Now, if you have a existing light, you could actually take the exact existing light bulb and take it off. But I'm going to show you a little trick what you can do and actually set these up. So uh, what I end up doing these when I actually get these, I, I set them up in different ways. I, I do have dome lights that actually just remove them, but they're not universal. And sometimes they're a little smaller than the actual light bulbs. But these are actually have the built in the bottom. And we're going to set it up over a uh, demo and see what you can do with these two. So let's go ahead and set the one up and see how it works. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Very important. You need to download the application in order to control the system. Now, with this, you can actually manipulate and make changes on your device from your cell phone or you want to connect and marry this to either your Google Assistant or your Alexa. So that's what you're going to require to access. Now, when you come into it, you do sometimes have to create a, an account or you can say try now and then it'll automatically skip it. But my recommendation is may, maybe make an account here so you could retain and actually itemize and set these up with names and numbers on the however your location, especially if you have multiple of these systems, you want to make sure you have uh, awareness of what locations they're in. Not only that, the naming part, if it's in the kitchen, put it in the kitchen, the living room, living room name. Now with this, you can remote control from any location too with the software. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, first time turning it on, we're gonna crank it up. We're gonna try and crank the power button on and we're gonna go into add the device. Right now it's a little bright right now. So we're gonna add a device, add device. And in here, it's going to start blinking. It automatically found the device. So we're going to say add, go to add. And then we're going to name it. We're going to actually give it an internet site. So we're going to give it a password to our actual physical internet. We're connecting there now. Now, this is already when it starts blinking, that's when it physically connects it. And if you notice, it's going to do the updates on this system. So we're going to wait until it stops the rotation. It starts updating it and then we'll come back. You guys notice I could control the light now from different tone lights, all right? From the brightest to 12, 1200 lumens to actually down to the lowest. And this, this is a color coordination right here. If you guys can notice this, we could go actually switch colors and we could change it to any kind of display colors that we have in here. So we could always put music or voice, uh, rhythm. This is pretty much like a rhythm. It's gonna change with the rhythm itself. So if you're talking, it's gonna do, it. or gaming, it'll change it too. So not that bad. And also they have other tones in here, default light. You you could schedule a light to turn on. You could uh, do not disturb. And then, like I said, you could go back and forward, but this is basic, the normal one. And of course you have the actual uh, switches to turn off the actual light, turn it back on. And that's pretty much it. So let's go take a look at it and see how it looks under actual some furniture. So let's go ahead and do that. Various colors, we're gonna do green, forest green. Dream, Oop, I don't wanna put it as a dream. French style. Halloween. Independence Day. And they have various, various colors. Um, birthday, this is a birthday one. You can't even see the chair with the birthday that much, but it changes, so you guys can see. now. Another thing is I said, rhythm, one, two, three. So it's going with a with rhythm, one, two, three. Gaming, you could do gaming. And pretty much this is a, a, a couple of things you can do. You could do, you could set it up your light to turn off and on a certain light. Um, I like this where you're just going to go back to normal. So very awesome little light. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe 